Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to The Wealthy. Yo, what is good guys? Hope you're all doing well during this time, and today I am back with a banger for you guys. As most of you guys know, now is the time where people take gaming to the next level, and people do anything to improve the game for themselves, and to improve the experience and gameplay for other players by having new pets or characters. Well, today we are going to be going over how to get the chaotic top hat in Roblox. If you guys are new to the channel, then consider subscribing for more content like this, and alongside that, turn on the post notification bell so you get notified when we upload more bangers like today's one. Make sure to like and comment in the comment section below, and without further ado and wasting everyone's time, let's get into the video. To get the chaotic top hat, go into dungeon quests. There are three major steps, finding the gems, the blinking lights, and the boss. Each step requires plenty of work, many of which is unique to your own account. Not everything in this quest can be solved by watching a video, which is why getting the chaotic top hat is so difficult. So be sure to follow these steps very carefully and you will walk away victorious with the chaotic top hat. Get a badge called Meet the Developer. We don't get a shirt, we don't get a pants of this. It's literally just the top hat and the badge, but you can complete the Ready Player 2 event item. It kind of looks like a cereal bowl, like it's got a massive dip in the top hat. I don't really know what's going on, but there you go. If you guys want to get it, go ahead and watch this video. We also get Step 1. Finding the gems. First, you need to touch 7 colored gems in a specific order. Run through each gem, literally touching them. There isn't an audio indication, so make sure you run through them. The exact order of the 7 colored gems are red, yellow, blue, cyan, white, purple, green. If you do not follow the specific order, Step 2 of the Chaotic Top Pack quest will not trigger stuff is dungeon quest so what we're going to do is jump into a server i will show you guys exactly what we have to do like i said it's not that hard one of the more easy items once you've got all of the items so like i said the badge is a bit weird i haven't even met this guy and you get meet the developer badge so there you go and the game that we want to play to get this step two the blinking lights now you need a six digit code to unlock the cell door in order to reach step three to get the code you have to count blinking lights five in total above the boulder cave is where you should stand to see all the blinking lights at once Every player's code is different, so you can't grab a code from a video. If you have recording software like OBS, use this so you can watch the lights blink in slow motion. Otherwise, you will have to watch the blinking sequence over and over until you are confident that you have picked the correct code. You will know the sequence has ended when the lights no longer blink and a long pause ensues. The amount of lights blinking equals a number. Then go back to the bridge and look for the locked cell to the right. Enter the code here by literally clicking the numbers on the keypad. If entered correctly, you will have been teleported to a bright location with a bunch of servers we have to collect them in order. And the first one is red. So what we're gonna do is run over the bridge. We're gonna run all the way down here. I did this on a VIP server and I also sped to go ahead, join the server, and I'll show you guys what we have to do. All right guys, so once we're inside the server of Dungeon Quest, we actually have to collect all of the colored gems, but- Step three, the boss. This sequence is on a 10 minute timer, so move with haste. Break down the door to enter a small obby. This one is much easier than the green gem obby. Time your jumps properly and safely make it to the other side. Break down the door to reach the last chamber, the glitch. The glitch boss strategy. When the whole ground area turns gray, quickly run behind a server. If you don't get there in time, you'll take a lot of damage. Avoid the red and gray lines, the glitch will shoot lasers at you. While using your regular attack, spam your Q and E attacks as much as possible. This creates a three-way combo that deals tons of damage to the glitch. The colors on the way, ignore them because you want to get them in order. So we're just going to run all the way over here. We're going to run to this big castle wall or shop or whatever it is. And we gameplay up so it's not boring. But here is the red gem. We're just going to walk into it, collect it. The next one we have to get is this yellowish golden kind of gem. If you see any other... That's it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, then make sure to like the video and comment on the most shocking accessory that you got on Roblox or something really hard to get with a long process and let us know how you did it. You never know, we might even mention it in our next video. Turn on the post notification bell and make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. For now, I'll leave it here and take care guys. Peace out.